Hey, what's up guys? It is me, Chachi Onyx. I'm here with a, another video. Uh, today's video I wanna make, um, it's gonna be sports predictions. In the last video, I talked about the things that I liked and I didn't detail sports. So I really like enjoy, I, I really enjoy watching sports. I watch anything. I watch American football, basketball, baseball, hockey, soccer. I watch everything. And one of my favorite sports and the, um, and the topic of this video is going to be UFC. Well, mixed martial arts. I mainly watch UFC. Uh, I don't watch Bellator. I don't, I should watch more Bellator or one or PFL. I have watched a bit, but I mainly watch, uh, UFC and tomorrow, um, on Saturday, November 13th, uh, there's going to be a pretty good fight in the main event between fighters that I'm familiar with, Max Holloway and Yaya Rodriguez. And I want to give my predictions for those, um, for those, for the fights that are going to happen tomorrow. And, um, uh, mainly just the predictions. I, I really don't want to get into the details of how it's going to happen and whatever. I may detail some stuff mainly with Max and Yaya, but I'm going to give my predictions for the other fights that are on the prelims and the other fights that are on the main card. So to begin with the prelims, we have we have six fights. Um, we have Kennedy Janchukwu versus Dayun Jung, Mark Giacchisi versus Rafael Alves, Courtney Casey versus Liana Jojua, Sean Woodson versus Colin Angland, Cynthia Calvillo versus Andrea Lee, Tiago Moises versus Joel Alvarez. And on the main card, we got Song Gedong versus Julio Arce, Miguel Baeza versus Chaos Williams, Felicia Spencer versus Leah Letson, Ben Rothwell versus Marcos Rogerio de Lima, and the main event of the evening, Max Holloway versus Yair Rodriguez. Let me, let me um, turn on the air here in my room. It is a little hot. It's been rather warm. Um, so this is the jacket that I wore on the last video. Let me see if my fan turns on I don't think it's oh oh it's taking its time here I'm sweating a little bit so let's go with the predictions and then I'll get more into detail uh, mainly with the mainly with the um Max Holloway versus Yaya Rodriguez um if my fan is too loud comment that in the video and I'll turn it off and I'll just sweat away so just just let me know it's it'll probably be a little too loud I have no idea but I'm hot in here and I want some air. So Kennedy Jinchukwu versus Dayun Jung. I have seen Kennedy Jinchukwu. Uh, I think the last fight that I saw him, he fought um, John Volante. If I can, if I am mistaken, I am not sure. No, 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 it wasn't John Volante. It was um, Olberg. It was um, Olberg, a teammate of uh, current middleweight champion Israel Adesanya. And he won by knockout. He is. He also won his last fight by knockout. I did not know that, but I did see his the the fight that when he fought Olberg. I haven't seen Dayun Jung. They both look to be in good shape. Um, I'm gonna pick Kennedy uh, Jinchukwu. I think he's gonna win the fight. I don't know how. Probably by knockout. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, Mark Diakisi, Diakisi, I'm probably pronouncing his name wrong, and Rafael Alves. I'm gonna go with, um, I'm gonna go with Mark Diakisi. I think he's gonna win. I think he's gonna, uh, I'm not, I'm not too familiar with Rafael Alves. I have seen him fight a few times, but I'm not really 100% sure. Um, I am familiar with Mark, and I think he's gonna win. This next fight, Courtney Casey versus Liana Jajua. I'm gonna be honest, I've, I have never seen Liana Jajua. I've seen Courtney Casey a few times, so I'm gonna pick Courtney Casey. Um, this next fight, uh, Sean Woodson versus Colin Angland. I am familiar with Colin Angland because I, uh, I do wa I did watch Dana White's Contender Series from the last season, and um, he won his fight. He got a contract. Um, Colin Angland lost his last fight. Um, I forgot the guy's name. He fought last Saturday on UFC 268. Uh, let me let me double check what this guy's name is. Um, he fought um, Melsik Bagdasarian, and he lost by um, head kick KO. 
in the head kick and punches in the second round, the minute 15 to the round. So I like call I liked Colin in that fight. I picked Colin in the fight when he fought Meltzik Bagdasarian. Um, I'm not too familiar with Sean Woodson, so I'm gonna pick Colin Anglin. Uh, Cynthia Calvillo, Andrea Lee. Um, I'm gonna pick Andrea Lee for this fight. Um, I I'm familiar I, I'm familiar with both of these fighters a little bit. Uh, I've seen more I've seen Cynthia Calvillo more, but I don't know. Uh, there's a, I, for me there's a lot of hype with Andrea Lee. I don't know whether she let me um, let me see if she um, if I don't know what her record is. Is she undefeated? Oh, actually, she's a lot. Mm, interesting. I did not know this. She lost three fights in a row, two by split, one unanimous. That means that those fights are close. I don't know. I'm gonna pick Andrea Lee. I, I don't know. And then for the headliner on the prelims, we got Tiago Moises versus Joel Alvarez. Um, I'm gonna go with Tiago Moises. Um, I, 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 I'm not familiar with Joel Alvarez, El Fenomeno. To be honest, I really don't. I'm familiar with Tiago Moises. I know he's a good grappler. Uh, if the fight goes to the ground, he'll most likely win, unless he goes against a guy who he faced in his last fight in um, Islam Makachev, where the area where it was his strength was an area of weakness, because, well, not necessarily an area of weakness, it's just who is stronger in that area, and it was Islam Makachev on the ground. Um, so that was his last fight, but I'm gonna go to Tiago Moises. Uh, we're gonna move to the main card. Um, Song Yudong versus Julio Ars. Don't know Julio Ars. I am familiar with Song Yudong, so I'm gonna pick Song Yudong. Um, between Miguel Baeza, the next fight, Miguel Baeza and Chaos Williams. I'm gonna go with Chaos Williams. Um, so I should probably be talking about the odds and who's the favorite and all that stuff, but I'll do that with the, I could be doing that now. Um, uh, the next fight, Felicia Spencer versus Leah Letson. Felicia Spencer is the favorite, negative 310 to plus 245 um, favorite. If you're in the negative, that's, that's you're the fit. I don't know. I don't really understand odds. So I'm not going to talk about odds. I'm not a better. I'm not a gambler. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm not going to talk about it. <laughs> so um, Felicia Spencer. Um, I'm going to pick Leah Letson, actually. I've seen Felicia Spencer. She's looked lackluster. Um, I don't know. I just, I just, I don't know. For me, I'm leaning towards Leah Letts in this fight. The, the co-main event of the evening is between Ben Rothwell and Marcos Rogerio de Lima. I am more familiar with Ben Rothwell. I have heard of Marcos Rogerio de Lima, but I mean, I can't go against, uh, does Ben Rothwell have a nickname? He does not. Um, I'm going to go with Ben Rothwell. I think he's going to win. It's, it's, it's just, I don't know, it's, it's, I think that's gonna be a good heavyweight bout. Uh, this next fight is between Max Holloway, the main event of the evening, Max Holloway versus Yair Rodriguez. I should probably be talking about the weight too. I didn't really talk about any of the weight. I'll polish that up for the next video. Um, this is a featherweight bout at 145 pounds. This is the main event of the evening. Max Holloway is the number one contender in the featherweight division. And Yair Rodriguez is the number three contender in the featherweight division with the champion being Alexander Volkanovsky. I like Max, I really do. Uh, I think the inactivity from Yair Rodriguez is gonna uh, come to bite him in the butt. And I think Max Holloway, his boxing is just so good. I just, is, I don't know, I just, I, I, Yair's got creativity. I think that could be his path to victory. Um, but I think Max Holloway is just gonna piece him up on the feet and negate, you know, any creativity that Yair may have. And, you know, the inactivity from that year is, it's not gonna help him. So I'm gonna pick Max Holloway for that fight. Um, so prelims begin at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Since I'm on the Pacific, I'm on the West Coast in California and the main card begins at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So these fights will be on ESPN Plus. I am most likely gonna see these fights with a friend, with a family friend. So it's gonna be pretty fun. And then I'll, um, I'll probably make a video tomorrow about my thoughts, about my overall thoughts about 
the event and mainly my thoughts on the main card on the main event i mean well yes everything but the main event between max holloway and yair rodriguez so i think uh just gonna it is uh these fights will be in vague these fights are in vegas and normally when the fights are in vegas they have them at seven i don't know why they're gonna i don't know why they have them early um uh, main card i think i already said it prelims being at 10 a.m pacific center time main card 1 p.m pacific center time so you can decipher what time that was that is for you to watch these fights or maybe it's a little you're watching this the day after after the fact you can watch the highlights so um yeah that is the video for my predictions for um tomorrow's uh event holloway versus rodriguez ufc um 197 i think is what it is uh ufc fight night on espn 197 ufc fight night 197 um yeah ufc fight night holloway versus rodriguez ufc it will be ufc fight night 197 and ufc on espn plus 55 so i'm not going to get into the background it's on the wikipedia i can link it i guess so and you can see who won so yeah um that's the video i don't want to drag this on any longer um should be uh fun fights tomorrow and i'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.